Okay, so we'll start this morning with fascia circles like we always do with a hip class. So starting with the left ankle, just circling through. Well, you can have your hands at heart centre, you can have your hands on your hips, arms out to the sides. Take those circles the other way. <clears throat> Pretending to hold yourself up on pretend walls. Whatever works for you to keep your balance. Then go through the knee. Excellent, and the other way. And then into the hip. And then take that the other way too. These are a great way to get everything moving before starting exercise in the morning. Or at any time of the day, to be fair. Right, let's switch to the other leg and start going through the other ankle. And the other way. And then into the knee. And the other way. And then into the hip. And then take that in the other direction too. And then bring both feet down onto the floor and take nice big circles through both hips. And then we'll take those circles in the other direction. And then bringing the hips to stillness, circling through the ribs. So really trying to get some movement into the middle of the torso. And then the other way. And then a few little circles through the shoulders, squeezing them up and dragging the shoulder blades down the back. And then the other way, squeezing the shoulder blades behind you and then rolling them forwards. And then a few circles through the wrists. And the other way. And then with a closed fist through the wrists. And the other way, into the elbows, and the other way, and then really big circles through the shoulders, reaching up and reaching back, getting into all those crunchy bits around the shoulder blades. And then take those in the other direction too. So reaching back and reaching up. And then allowing the hands to come down by the sides. Take the left ear towards the left shoulder and just hang out there for a moment. Just letting all the muscles down the side of the neck stretch out. Then take your chin towards your shoulder and scrape your chin all the way around your collarbones until you reach the other side. And then take the ear towards the shoulder and stretch out all the muscles down the side on this side.
take the chin back towards the shoulder and just have a couple of rolls each way, stretching out all the muscles down the back of the neck. And then bring the chin to your chest, get your chin as close to your throat as you can, interlace the fingers and cup the back of the skull. Press the head up into the hands as you resist that movement with your hands. And then taking the hands behind your back, reach the fingertips away, take the chin towards the ceiling and stretch the front of the neck, keeping the back of the neck long. And if you want to do a little bit extra in this exercise, press the tip of your tongue into the roof of your mouth 30 times. And then once you're done that, um, release your fingers off, come to the tops of your mats, and we do a couple of flows before we get into the first round of hip. So inhale, arms up. Exhale, folding forwards, nice big bend in the knees. Inhale, half lift, reaching those hands back. Exhale, fold. Step the left leg back, and keep the left hand on the floor. Three circles through the right shoulder. Once you've done your three circles, take those circles the other way. Excellent. Bring the hand back down to the mat, step it back to plank. Knees, chest, chin down to the floor, and then come forward into your cobra pose. Exhale down, tuck the toes, take the hips back towards the heels, pressing up into downward facing dog. Probably your first dog of the day, so just have a moment here to have a couple of breaths, Stretch out wherever you need to stretch out. Get that body moving. And then looking forwards, step the left foot forwards. This time, keep the right hand on the mat, circle through the left shoulder. Once you've done three circles one way, take those circles the other direction. Then take the hand back to the mat, step the back foot forwards into your forward fold, exhale. Inhale, halfway lift, exhale, fold. Inhale, all the way to the top, exhale, hands back to heart centre. Good, inhale up, exhale, folding forwards, nice big bend in the knees. Inhale, halfway lift, reach those hands back, exhale, fold. Right leg this time, take it back, hands down on the mat, Take the left leg all the way through and up, reaching those toes up towards the sky. Bend at the knee, three circles through the hip. Once you've done your three circles, do three circles the other direction. And then reaching those toes all the way up to the sky, bring the toes down towards the mat, bring the hips forward into plank. Take the knees down to the mat, chest and chin down to the mat, scoop it forwards into cobra pose. Excellent. Face back down towards the mat, tuck the toes, take the hips back towards the heels, press it up into your downward facing dog. Float the right foot up, bend at the knee, circle through the hip. Once you've done your three circles, take those circles the other way. Excellent. Reach those toes all the way up to the sky, then swing that foot forward behind the right wrist. Step the left foot forwards, exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift, exhale, fold. Inhale, all the way to the top, exhale, hands to heart centre. Beautiful. Then two quick rounds of standard sun salutation. Inhale, up, exhale, fold. Inhale, half lift, exhale, fold. Step or hop it back to plank. Come down through Chaturanga, into your upward facing dog. Take the hips up, into downward facing dog. Looking forwards, bend the knees, step or hop the feet behind the hands, exhale, fold. Inhale, half lift, exhale, fold. Inhale, all the way up, exhale, hands to heart centre. Good, another one, inhale up, exhale, fold. 
Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Step or hop it back to plank. Knees, chest, chin, or come down to chaturanga into your upward facing dog. Take the hips up, come over the toes into downward facing dog. Looking forwards, bend the knees. Step or hop the feet behind the hands. Exhale, fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, all the way up. Exhale, hands to heart centre. Good job. Okay. We did twisted stuff last night. This morning we're going to continue that theme. So quite a lot of twisting. We're going to start with twisted chair. So you can either have your feet hip width or you can have your feet together. We're going to reach up to the ceiling. Exhale into a twisted chair on one side. Inhale up. Exhale into twisted chair on the other side. The thing to be cautious of when you're coming into your twisted chair is as you come down, you want your knees to remain in line with one another. What could happen is one jumps forward of the other. So just try and make sure that your hips and your knees are aligned. Eight rounds, simple. 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off. So let's go. Inhaling up, exhaling into chair. Inhaling up, exhale chair the other side. And we just keep going like this. Nice noisy exhales. Nice and low in our chair. Get those hips nice and low. Good, and rest. One down, seven to go. <coughs> you can do whatever you like on your rest. Next round, let's go. Maybe twist the other side first this time. Inhaling up, exhaling down. Moving as fast or as slow as you like, as long as you can keep control of the movement. That's most important. <sighs> Next round done already. Good work. Get ready for the next round. Inhale up, good. Think about squeezing those inner thighs and squeezing those glutes as you come up, pulling everything in towards the midline of the body. Good, and rest. Halfway, four down, four to go. Next round. Remember those nice noisy exhales. those tummy muscles in, get those chairs nice and low, and rest. Three more, let's go. to go. Get ready and go. Get those hips nice and low. Squeeze the bum as you come up. Good. Squeeze those tummy muscles in as you come up. Squeeze those inner thighs in as you come up. And we're done already. Last round. Last 20 seconds. Get ready and go. Good. 
really reach up, crouch down. Beautiful twists. Keep going. And rest. Good. Grab a little drink of water if you need to. Okay, and whilst you're having a little drink of water, I'll explain the next one. So again, we're focusing on twists. The next one we're coming into Malasana, and then we're going to move into a revolved half moon. So we come down into Malasana. As we come up, you've got to think about opposite arm, opposite foot. So ordinarily, if we were doing half moon, we would come on the same side. But because this one's going to be revolved, if we put our right hand down on the floor, it's our left leg, sorry, left hand on the floor, it's our left leg that goes up and our right arm that goes up. So the opposite arm to leg is going up, the opposite arm to leg is down on the floor. We come back down into Malasana and then we go the other side. Okay, so our body is twisting towards the standing leg and our back leg is lifted. So Malasana, twisted half moon. Is that making sense? Excellent, okay. So we're doing eight rounds of this and we're just gonna switch from side to side every time you come from Malasana. So <clears throat> let's get ready. Down into Malasana. Whichever hand goes down, same leg goes back, opposite arm goes up. Come back down into Malasana, switch it to the other side. Good. Back down into Malasana, switch it one way. Back down into Malasana, switch it the other way. Good. And rest. Get ready for the next round. Coming down into Malasana, Take it into <laughs> your twisted half me. <sighs> Moving as fast or as slow as feels good for your body this morning. <sighs> and rest. <clears throat> Get ready for the next round. So from Malasana, into your revolved half moon. Malasana, revolved half. So really think about squeezing the muscles around that lifted leg. And if you're up for challenging your balance, oh, that man's finished already. You can also take your sight up towards the lifted hand, or at least to that side. So, Take it down, maybe look to the side, maybe look up. Take it down, maybe look to the side, maybe look up. Really squeeze those glutes as you're moving from one position to the other. And rest. Good, halfway. Four down, four to go. Get ready for your next round. Let's go. Taking those hips right down and then lifting them up as much as you can. Really squeezing that leg back and rest. Good. Three more. Doing whatever you fancy in the rest. You can sit down if you want, you can stand up. Next round. Remember to keep that breath moving, nice and noisy exhales. Good, rest. Two more rounds. Get ready. Down we go. Squeeze those muscles in those legs as you lift that leg up. Squeeze the muscles in the arm as you lift the arm up. Squeeze the tummy muscles to help lift the leg. 
Good, nearly there. Excellent, and rest. Last 20 seconds. Get ready. And go, last 20. Excellent, keep it moving. Lifting that back leg as high as you can. Good. And rest. Excellent. Come down onto your bums, feet together, and just have a little butterfly wing moment with your knees. Just bouncing them up and down. Having a little drink of water if you need. So have a little rest, we'll explain the next one. The next one is based on reverse tabletop. But we're not gonna lift our hips all the way up, you'll be pleased to know. We're just gonna to touch opposite hand to somewhere on the opposite leg. So depending on how long your arms are in comparison to your torso, so if you sit up really straight, reach your hands down towards the floor. If you're struggling to reach the floor, then you might want to be on your knuckles, just to give you a bit more space. If you've got loads of space, then you can just be on your hands. What we're going to do here is lift our hips up off the ground, and then we're going to reach opposite hand to toe, shin, knee, somewhere where you can reach on that foot, pop it back down. And then the other side, reach. We want to try and have the minimum amount of swing in our body, as possible. So we really want to squeeze our tummy muscles in. We really want to squeeze the low, lower back muscles. We really want to squeeze the glutes because you want to try and keep the body as still as possible. Make the movement come from the arm and the leg. So switching from side to side. Ideally, you want your fingers pointing towards your hips. But as I said, you can go onto your knuckles if that's more comfortable, gives you a bit more room. And you can also switch from one to the other. Okay, so eight rounds of this one. So get ready. Let's go. So opposite hand to foot and then move to the other side. Really squeeze those tummy muscles in so that you have the minimum amount of movement in the body. Remember, nice noisy exhales. And rest. Good. Maybe give you a little wrist to squeeze as we're resting. And let's go. Good. And rest. Ready for your next round. Opposite hand to foot. Really squeeze those tummy muscles in. Really squeeze those glute muscles. Keeping the eyes on the horizon. Excellent, and rest. Get ready for the next round. Let's go. All about controlled movement, this one. Squeezing everything in towards the midline to keep your balance. And to keep the movement in your body minimal. And rest, good. Halfway, four down, four to go. Tummy muscles in. Only moving as fast as you can keep control of the movement. And rest. Good 
work, guys. Next round. Reaching it up, putting it back down. And rest. Last two rounds. So penultimate round right here. Putting those tummy muscles in. Reaching up. Good. Keep it moving. And rest. Last 20 seconds. Then we'll get back up on our feet again and our wrists can have a rest. Last 20, let's go. Reach it up, pop it down. Good. Pulling those tummy muscles in, keeping that breath moving. And rest, good work. Give those wrists a little squeeze, just help them to de decompress. And then maybe have a little drink of water. Okay, so the next round is based on warrior one. So, <clears throat> we're going to start in warrior one slash high lunge from here we inhale the arms up we exhale opposite elbow to knee we go back to warrior one inhale opposite elbow to knee your other hand can come in a fist towards your hip or you can reach it back whichever feels more comfortable for your balance so we start with warrior one, opposite elbow to knee. Start with warrior one, opposite elbow to knee. Four rounds for the left leg, four rounds for the right leg. This one's gonna go really quickly. Okay, so come to the tops of your mats and then we'll get ready. So take the left leg back, reach the arms up, bring it forwards, opposite elbow to knee. Take it back into warrior one, opposite elbow to knee. Inhale back. Nice, noisy exhale forwards. Good, we're keeping control of the movement. <coughs> Squeezing everything into the midline. First round's done already. Three more to go on this side, and then we're done with that. <laughs> okay, get ready for the next round. Let's go. So squeezing that knee forward. Good. And to keep as balanced as possible. So squeeze everything in. And rest, good. Two down, two to go. Get ready for the next round. Step it back. Good. Really keep everything pulling in towards the midline, which will help with your balance help with the control of the movement. Good, and rest. Okay, last one on this side, then we'll switch to the right leg. Get ready, let's go. So really putting those tummy muscles in to lift the knee as high as you can. Touching knee to elbow. Squeeze it up. Good, almost there. Excellent. Okay, that's that leg done. So we're gonna to move to the right leg going back now. And then obviously, opposite elbow to knee as it comes forward. Take it back, squeeze it forwards. Really using those tummy muscles to squeeze that knee up. Excellent, and 
and rest. One down, three to go. Okay, get next, I'm ready for the next round. Let's go. Halfway on this leg, two down, two to go. Get ready for the next round. Take the leg back. Good. Remember to keep breathing. Nice and easy exhales. Stretching the leg back, squeezing it up. Elbow to knee. Keeping control of that movement. And rest, good. Last round already. You guys are doing brilliantly. <laughs> okay, get ready. Last 20 seconds. Squeeze it up. Good. Keep breathing. And rest, good. Okay, have a little drink of water. We'll just have a little stretch of our glutes before we do the next one. So come into your downward facing dog. Float the left leg up towards the ceiling. Then bring it forwards, landing in pigeon. And just have a few breaths here. And bring the hands flat onto the mat, tuck the back toes, step it back to downward facing dog, flip the right leg up, and then bring the right leg forwards into pigeon. And just have a few breaths on this side. Sinking the hips down towards the ground. Okay, the last round is on our backs. So a couple of options for this one. You can do a half and half if you like. So the first option is to pretend like you're laying on some tropical island on the beach. So elbows underneath your shoulders and we're looking out to sea. The other option is to be completely laid down on your back, palms down on the mat. So completely up to you on your body position really pull the tummy muscles in so we're trying to flatten the lower back onto the mat we bend our knees in take them out straight squeeze the knees in towards the right shoulder take the legs out straight squeeze them in towards the left shoulder take them out straight squeeze them in towards the right take them out straight squeeze them in towards the left exactly the same if you're laid all the way down on your back we're just squeezing the knees into the opposite shoulder. So left and right and left and right. So this is really working the lower abs. Eight rounds, and then we'll have a little lay down to recover. Okay, so first round, let's go. So take the legs out long, squeeze them in towards one shoulder. Take them out long, squeeze them in towards the other shoulder. Really squeeze the legs towards one another as you take them out long. Squeeze all the muscles around your bones to make the legs lighter to lift. Nice, noisy exhales. First round's done already. Rest however you want to rest, whether you want to stretch out long or hug your knees in, it's up to you. Next round. Good. Keep those knees moving. Really squeeze those muscles around your legs. And rest.
Get ready for the next round. Let's go. Really pulling those tummy muscles in as much as you can. Good, and rest. And if your tummy starts to get really fatigued, then don't take the legs so low, take the legs a bit higher. Next round, so you can take them out higher, kind of more to a 45 degree angle instead of low. Halfway, so you can either stay on your elbows or if you'd like to lay all the way down and stand the mat beside you, you can take that option too. Next round, stretch them out, squeeze them in towards the shoulder. And rest, good. Two more rounds to go. Penultimate round. Remember to squeeze those muscles around your legs. Keep the breath moving. Keep that lower belly pulling in. Good, and rest. Last round. Last 20 seconds, you've totally got this, let's go. Squeeze them in, stretch them out. Good, almost there. And rest, good. Take your feet as wide as your yoga mat. And just windscreen wiper the legs from side to side. Moving your legs as fast or as slow as you fancy. Once you've windscreen wiped both sides, just bring the feet to the mat. Lift up the hips, scoop them over to the right, pop them back down. Hug the knees into the chest and then just roll the knees over to the left, looking out over your right shoulder. Letting everything settle down onto your mat. Letting everything be heavy. One more breath here. Then on your next inhale, think about moving. On an exhale, pull the tummy muscles in and roll the hips back onto the mat. Feet coming down last. Straighten yourself up and then we'll switch to the other side. So lift up the hips, scoot them over to the left, pop them back down. Hug the knees into your chest and then roll them over towards the right 
looking out over your left shoulder on this side. And then allow the body to settle. Let everything just relax down onto your mat. bringing your head back to centre, pull the tummy muscles in and roll the hips back down onto your mat with your feet coming down last and then straighten yourself up. And now today if you'd like to do the final relaxation in supported bridge, if you have a block to hand, I don't have a block to hand but I can use this towel. So <clears throat> you can just put it underneath the back of the pelvis and just relax in supported bridge or if you fancy doing your legs up the wall. And again, you can do that with or without a support behind your hips. Or if you prefer just to do normal savasana, then feel free to take the legs out long, let the feet fall open and come into your final savasana. It's your practice. So do what feels good for your body this morning. And then just take your awareness to your breath. We're not trying to change the breath in any way just noticing what it's up to. Noticing how it behaves as our bodies go about their job of regulating our breathing, regulating our heartbeat, gradually bringing our temperature back down to a normal level. Letting the tissues go about the work of connecting, repairing all of that connective tissue after the exercise we've just put it through ultimately making you stronger for your next session. So what is the breath up to? What's the length of the inhale? The length of the exhale? Wherever you've wandered off to, just bring your awareness back to your body. If you're in legs up the wall, then bring your feet down to the floor. And if you have your feet on the floor and your hips raised on something, then just lift the hips. Move your block or your towel out the way and roll your spine back down onto the mat. And then whenever you're ready, and there's no rush at all unless you have to go to work, roll over onto your sides come up to seated and you can go about the rest of your day being smug that you've done your exercise already. Whoop whoop! <laughs> yeah, that's it! <laughs>